1998 MGF. As you can see, it's finished in this lovely color combo of bright red, um, bright red exterior with this lovely darker red leather interior. Really nice color combo. Black hood, um, and it's got the larger six spoke alloy wheels as well, which really finished the car off, I think. Let's start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this driver's front wing, you've got one or two very small stone chips on the front end of the wing there. The arch itself, lovely and clean all the way around. Normally you get a bit of stone chip developing into some corrosion down here, but as you can see, that's all nice and tidy. Good wheel and tire on the front. Little bit of sort of reaction in the corners on the alloy, but generally pretty good. Light, very light curve mark on the top, but other than that, okay. Coming down this side, nice and tidy on that driver's door. There's no real mark to that in it at all. Apart from we've got a little stone chip just at the bottom there. The sill itself going all the way along, nice and clean and tidy all the way along there. It's not bent out of shape or been jacked up wrong or anything like that. We do have a little bit of bubbling just at the bottom of the rear arch there that once cleaned and tidied off. And we've got another little stone chip just here above the vent on the rear quarter. The arch itself, you can see it's still got the original spot welds all the way around, but it's nice and clean. A little bit of lack of peel on the corner there, which is quite common on a red car. And then down the bottom there, obviously you've got plastic because it's part of the bumper, all nice and clean. Rest of the top of that rear quarter, nice and tidy. It's all good along there. We'll have a look at the roof while we're here. Normally these sort of fray and go a bit thin on the ribs where the roof's going up and down, but as you can see, this one's all good. Been pressure washed, which left a couple of little Sort of dirtier marks versus clean. And um, what it wants is a 20 quid restoration kit from Halford, somewhere like that. Clean it all off, seal it up. Massive, massive difference. Rear window's got no cracks or creases in it. It's got a little bit of hazing on it, just from being in the sun, but other than that, it's all good. And again, no wear or tear on the ribs on this side either. And along that leading edge is all good. Obviously, manual roof, so there's no motors or anything to worry about. Just undo the clips at the front and drop it down dead easy. Coming around on the back, both rear tail lights are clear and bright. The exhausts sit nice and level. Normally they're off to one side, but as you can see, this one's good. No real marks to notice on that rear bumper. Nice and clean all the way along there. And then again, along the deck lid, all good. A couple of little marks in the lacquer. You can see one there and another one there. I'm guessing it's had one of the roof racks at some point, so it's, it's sort of left a little bit of mark, but you do have to get very, very close to see it. But it is worth pointing out. Coming around on the passenger side again, if we look down this side, both sides, lovely and straight. They're not full of ripples or filler or anything like that. Nice and clean on this rear arch. All good on the bottom of there. Nice and tidy around the vent, apart from a couple of little stone chips on the leading edge. Nice and tidy around the filler cap. A Little bit of lacquer peel around the handle. Um, just across the top there. Paint underneath is fine, it's just the lacquer peel. And then along that sill, nice and tidy all the way along. Got a couple of little parking marks in the door. And then front arch, nice and clean and tidy all the way around. No sign of any corrosion or anything like that. And then coming around under the front, headlights are nice and clear and bright as are the indicators. Lower half of this bumper is all good. Around the grill is nice and tidy. We've got a couple of little stone chips in the bonnet as you'd expect, it's a 20, 25 year old car now. It's gonna have the other little stone chip here and there. Moving on to the interior. That's a lovely color combo. It's got black and red leather on the door cards and this lovely darker red interior. We've got a little bit of wear on the beading here and a little bit of patina on the, on the bolster, but the bolsters are nice and firm. They haven't collapsed. The leather could do with a good clean, just to bring that shine back. Matching black and red leather on the on the steering wheel. A little bit of wear across the top, but generally pretty good. Shows 65,000 miles, this one. If you check the description, we'll detail what we know as far as service history and all that sort of stuff goes. All nice and tight on the center console. We do have a Kenwood aftermarket stereo in there. This one's got electric windows as well. Nice and tidy all the way along the center there. Underside of the hood is all good. Coming around it in the back, obviously you've got to open them with a key and then you've got this lever here to open the front one as well, which we'll do. Carpet set all nice and tidy. Got your engine in the middle there, mid-engine. It's not dropping any fluids or anything. It's been parked here for a little while. 
was driven to us as well, which is always a good sign. Starts on the button every time it's been here as well. Steering's lovely and light, all that sort of stuff, everything you want to see. Nice and clean on that passenger door card. Passenger seat's in lovely clean condition. There's no wear at all on the uh, on the beauty on this side. Really nice and tidy, that seat. Black carpet set on both sides, lovely and dark. It's not ingrained with any dirt. Got this nice MG over mat as well. And then in the front. Nice and tidy in here. Got your full-size spare wheel, the toolkit. All the plastic covers and everything are intact. Normally they've gone missing by now. But inner wings, everything, both sides, lovely and clean and tidy. A little bit of dust here and there that one's cleaned off, but other than that, all good. Immobilizer is still working on this one, so you just give it a little prod before you start the car up. That'll turn the immobilizer off. Starts with a little bit of a belt squeak, which does, does seem to happen when it's cold, but it goes away straight away, as you can tell. Other than that, sitting, ticking over nice and happy. We've had it running you know, about 28, 29 degrees yesterday. So really, really hot. Doesn't seem to overheat or anything like that, which obviously we know is something you always want to check on an MGF or a TF. Uh, but like I say, it went up to right in the middle of the gauge and sat there while the car was getting cleaned for a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. So there you have it. MGF in red with red. Any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.